upcoming mock date. It's 31 and I have a basketball game tomorrow. Fuck you. Oh, hell yeah. It's getting everywhere. try to film this video as nicely with the color correction and everything as possible because I don't have my film lights and I'm back home and obviously I want to show you guys my natural state of hair right now but it's really hard with this like yellow lighting but we'll make it work we'll make it work but pretty much last time I made my video on how to dye your hair gray a bunch of you were like please show me the process of like how you actually dye your hair which is kind of like mm, I feel like that's kind of boring because it's not like I'm a hairdresser or anything so um it's a really crappy way of dyeing your hair but I guess let's just get started and I'll show you guys how I dye my hair bright pink so let's show this process all right so the very first place I went to was sorry it's really loud Sally's okay that is literally where I get all of my hair dye that's what I do and um, if you can tell if you watch my previous videos you can tell that I obviously bleached out my hair a little bit more but I did leave the roots so back in the day when I used to dye my hair bright pink and all of that I would go all the way up to the roots but because I do live in San Francisco and it's really hard for me to maintain um, like roots and all that because I'm not living back home and my hairdresser is back home um I decided to do just like um with their roots showing a little bit so then when it does grow out I don't look like a psychopath with just like extra fruit hair and yeah so pretty much what I had her do is just do like really heavy intense highlights so that's how we got like the rooted look and um as you can tell like my hair is really white down here and that's just from it being bleached out and processed so many times and up here it's a little bit more yellow and if i was gonna be a blonde i would be like i really um i would obviously tone it and bleach it out a little bit more but because i am putting such a bright color over it and not even a pastel it doesn't matter i'm not gonna damage my hair even more <laughs> than it needs to be damaged if i don't need to like have white hair for this hair color and which is like how i've maintained to go so blonde and white is because i've always put colored hair and then i've waited for it to grow out and then i would go over it it's just kind of like a nicer way of going blonde is just to put color over it i don't even know if that made sense but um yeah so that's why it is all yellow and all that and not toned up there because i don't really care it's gonna get tied over with color anyway so i'm not gonna ruin it with toner or bleaching it out even more because i know the color is gonna come out but this is my first time doing it with these roots so let me show you the hair dyes that i get and i talked about this in my hair dyeing video and i go really in depth about this brand but this is pretty much the only brand besides color ion i will sometimes buy it and mix it but this is the only color i will use for my um like bright colors because first off it is the bomb because it has like argan oil infused in it so once i dye my hair with it it doesn't feel like rough and disgusting if that makes sense it feels really nice soft and silky and so um this is the color that i always use to dye my hair hot pink which is the one and only hot pink um that's literally the color that's what it's called hot pink so i use these two but because my roots are a little bit more dark um it's not like full-blown hot pink all over my hair i used a pastel bubblegum one and only i've used this one before but i kind of bought this one just to kind of mix it in with this one to see how it's gonna look because my roots are so dark up here so i don't want it to look um crazy or anything like that you know just like with bright pink and then dark roots i don't know this is like a work in progress so i kind of got the lighter hair color to tone down the neon so we'll see if that works but again that is the only hair dye that i use everyone always asks me like no matter what color i go neon blue light blue green like every hair color i've done gray that's the only hair dye that i use i swear it's the best it lasts so long but again i don't know if it lasts so long because of my um like my hair is so white so we shall see like i can't like promise that but that like is my ride or die hair dye like i always use that one so something that i literally never knew because i'm such a noob is when you untwist this the back of this right here like the little pointy thing it just it's there so when you stick it in like that it opens it up i literally never knew that so <laughs> that's just a trick for those people that are like me that never knew that so what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna put like half of it into a bowl so i know this is like awesome quality i'm just living i'm thriving on youtube so we're just gonna squirt it out let me 
I'm gonna see if I can like show you guys how it comes out. Like it comes out really smooth. Like do you see that? It's like really nice. It comes out really nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm probably gonna put like that much into it because I want like a nice ratio when I do this. I put like that much hot pink to it. And by the way, I got this little thing at Sally's for like a dollar. And now I'm gonna mix it with the pastel bubble gum. I put a little bit less of the light pink than the neon pink because I still want it pretty bright, just not as bright. And I'm gonna use just like one of these little things and I'm gonna use the end to kind of mix it all in. So, you know, let's see how it transforms. Again, I can't stress this enough. The quality of this video right now, guys, is just actually annoying me. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna keep mixing it until it turns, until it's all all mixed in. So once it's all mixed in, oh man, you can barely tell. It's like this really pretty Barbie color. So let's start applying that to the hair. Also, everyone always asks me if it's my Guys, it's my mom. Um, sometimes I do my own hair, but because it's so blonde and I'm putting such a vibrant color, I don't want to miss it. Also, while I dye my hair, I watch it. Katie, a week ago, I still have made like my opinion to sweet. Oh, you know, it came with these cups. It's done. They're basically like K cups. It's over. Period, but for cappuccino and espresso, much all it I've is. been trying them out. Red wine, that line, that was dirty. Two sides, all fired up and burning. So I probably leave it up in this bun for like 30 minutes and then I'll wash it out And for those of you that are curious, this is how much is left So I used this one right here is the light pink So that's how much light pink I used And then this is how much um, dark pink I used So I probably used a bottle and a half of like the tubes I bought three But um, yeah, so for those of you that are curious with how much I actually use It's that much if you want to calculate like your hair and stuff I don't know, I like this brand also because it does have a lot in it and it goes like a long way but uh, yeah i'm just gonna let this sit here probably gonna do some editing and then <laughs> we'll rinse it out right <laughs> this is the finished result so it looked like a troll kind of like a bubblegum troll but yeah if you want to see like the roots and how it blended so this is how it now it's like turned out from all the like yellow tones i don't know if you saw it like from the lighting but this is pretty much how i've always dyed my hair hot pink using like the same things the only difference is like my roots aren't as dyed anymore um because i used to do just full-blown roots and um yeah this is the length of my hair sometimes i'll put extensions and i'll do that but yeah that's pretty much it it's freaking vibrant right now i definitely thought it was going to be like more toned down but this is like i feel like my old self again like i'm not even kidding but yeah this is pretty much it of how i dye my hair pink so you know if you guys want please like subscribe do all of that and i'll see you guys in my next video bye